Live from KXAN, this is Game Night Friday, sponsored by Kia of Austin. Week number two of the high school football season. Non-district play continuing for some teams. That means it's time to get on the bus, take a long ride. For others, a chance to renew old rivalries lost possibly to reclassification over the years. We start with the big boys, 6A. Lake Travis ranked 12th in this week's 6A poll, hosting Copperas Cove. Copperas Cove would score on their opening drive, led 7-0, but Lake Travis answers. Charlie Brewer, the touchdown pass to Cade Green, ties at 7 on the Cavs' third possession, facing a third and 16. Brewer needed 16, scrambles and picks up 20. That allows him to hit his brother Cade for another touchdown pass and a 14-7 lead for the Brewers. Cavaliers added another one with a Connor Richter 44-yard field goal. A little bit later on, Lake Travis, they gave up that early touchdown, but they didn't look back after that, regrouped, and right now a big lead for LT at Cavalier Stadium after three quarters. 1-0 Bowie heading south to San Antonio to take on Madison right before the half. Wade Smith. Josh Wainwright. The Bulldogs are in the end zone. Good night for Bowie. They go on the road and win 44 to 25. Pflugerville and Leander at Bible Stadium. Long time rivals meeting in this game. Both looking for the first win of the season. Justin Merriweather going deep, finding Dawson Tamex. Runs underneath it and keeps on going. The Panthers scoring early. But Leander, who's looking to break a 13-game losing streak, looked a lot better tonight. Parker McNeil to Jonathan Spires. Spires finds Pater. Later, McNeil trying up maybe the exact same play. This time it's tipped and intercepted by DeMaurier Horton for the Panthers. That would set up Lewis Kelly on the short touchdown run. But right now in the fourth quarter, Leander ahead 30-21. Cedar Ridge, they won at New Braunfels Canyon a week one, traveling even further south tonight at San Antonio Johnson. Garrett Sharp, Blake Patterson, the touchdown. Cedar Ridge into the end zone right now. It's 28 to 16. Cedar Ridge is ahead in the fourth quarter. Cedar Park sitting atop the 5A polls this week after an impressive win over previous number one Alito, 31 to 13 in week one. Cedar Park may have a new head coach and Carl Absec, but they look like the same old big bad Timberwolves we're used to seeing around here. At Gupton Stadium tonight, it was a matchup with a former district rival, the Rouse Raiders. Early, Jav Gidry into the end zone for the Timberwolves. Time to run with the flats. Later, Rouse, Michael Forster. He scores from a couple yards out in the second quarter. Before the half, Cedar Park QB Mark Sexton finds Tommy Levine. Nice spin move, Tom. He can walk in from there, 42-21. Timberwolves get the win. LBJ and Vista Ridge, these guys, they share some history. Vista Ridge won last year in week two, but LBJ ended the Rangers season in the bi-district round of the playoffs last season. This year, Matt Snow. Straight ahead on the keeper, 7-0 Rangers. But LBJ, they're starting DeAndre Witaski at quarterback. He's little, but he can throw it. Spins it in there. Later, Witaski keeps it. He's quick, and he shows it. That's what he's doing playing back there. But Vista Ridge would answer with a long touchdown run. Isaiah Velier coming right at you. And he doesn't stop. Vista Ridge ahead 41-20 in the fourth quarter. Vandergrift busing three and a half hours to Abilene Cooper for a week two matchup. Tied for sixth in this week 5A pull. Alex Fernandez to Travis Brannon. Brannon gets in right now in the fourth quarter. Vista, or Vandergrift rather trying to come home a winner up 43-42. Bastrop visiting Elgin. Elgin returning the opening kickoff in this game for a touchdown. But the Bears would regroup. Calvin Henricks to Jaden Watson over the middle. Watson into the end zone. Later, Elgin. Donovan Thomas looks like he gets stood up, but Thomas bumps it out wide. Where'd he go? Back there in the end zone. He got the work done, but Bastrop comes back and wins 
on the road, 36-26. In 4A tonight, Burnett also making the trip to Abilene. Battle of the Bulldogs at Abilene Wiley. Burnett 14th in the 4A poll, but Wiley, they seem like they're good every year. That's Jared Asbo on the touchdown run. All Wiley tonight, 43-23. Burnett loses. And a special night for the Wimberley Texans and their community. We showed you more from this game earlier in the show. Jordan Jojo Weeks to Matt Stromans in Wimberley in their home opener, a special home opener. Goes down. Giddings comes back and wins 35 to 24. And finally tonight, we want to send all the positive vibes we can to the Stony Point community. And J. Self Favors, the player severely injured this week in a JV game. You're in our thoughts, and we want you to get better very, very soon. Coming up, it's game day the next day. The wait nearly over for Texas and Notre Dame. The festivities already starting in South Bend. We've got a report from Roger Wallace, who's on site, coming up.